guys, I got a lot of random stuff that I got to do around the house and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to Lima Bean Living, my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today I got some just random tasks that I need to get done around the house. I got some dishes already going in the dishwasher because last night I made pumpkin bread, which I have to cut up now that it's like nice and finally cool. And you know, a bunch of other little random stuff around here. So let's go ahead and be productive. So this bread really doesn't last that long in our house, but I do like to package it up in smaller containers. And then when the container in our fridge gets low or when we finish it off, I just grab a new one and kind of replenish the fridge uh, container. <laughs> and so we can enjoy it, you know, a nice fresh piece of bread. But anyways, after I go ahead and restock Juan's favorite cereal, we're gonna move on and make some baby oatmeal for baby Jack. He has since finished off the batch that I made in a previous video, and I kind of feel like I need to make this all the time and always have blueberries on hand because last night I fed him oatmeal, blended up with blueberries, and he slept through the whole night. He did whine like once at midnight for like a minute, <laughs> and then he fell back asleep. So, you know, I know it's naive of me to think that if I feed him the same thing every night, I'll have the same result, but... We're going to see how tonight goes because I gave him the exact same thing. I'm like anything at this moment, like I'll try anything. So blueberry oatmeal is, you know, he loves it and I'm going to keep feeding him that as long as we have those ingredients. But anyways, while that oatmeal is cooling off before I blend it all up, uh, I moved on to just start a load of laundry and you'll see or you won't see in this video, uh, me dry it because I never got around to drying it on this day. What I did do, however, is get a little bit more organized. So I would like to thank Fentech for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this over-the-door shoe organizer that has a variety of uses, which I will mention in a second. The product consists of two organizers, actually, and they each have two different kinds of pockets and sturdy metal hooks. The only assembly that you really have to worry about is feeding the hooks through the small holes at the top of the organizer, which is really nice. And I also like how the pockets aren't just made of fabric. There is a sort of like support rod already in the product to help the pockets kind of keep their shape. Another thing that I really like is how the hooks don't scratch our door or door frame and that we are still able to open and close our door with ease. This product is advertised as a way to store shoes, so of course I had to use one of them to free up some floor space in our coat closet, and I'm hoping to use that floor space to kind of store Jack's car seat or my big diaper bag when we aren't planning on going out. But as you will see in a little bit, I plan on using the second one in the set to hold my pants and my shorts in our master closet for easy grabbing, especially since Juan kind of used all of our dressers <laughs> as we were kind of organizing the space. So I needed something to better organize my pants than just throwing them up on the shelf. You could also use this product to organize craft supplies, kids outfits, baby essentials, pantry items, or some other coat closet items as well. 
I will place the Amazon link down below in the description box for your convenience if you'd like to pick up this awesome product. And again, I'd like to thank Ventec for sponsoring this portion of today's video and helping me get a little bit more organized. So it's been a while since I filmed. It's been a little crazy around here. I took a well needed nap, uh, which is something I'm trying to do more while Juan's on his paternity leave. And we just finished some dinner. So we are gonna go on a little family walk right now. And then when we get back, I plan on making cookies, which I'll share the recipe with you guys. And I want to like repurpose an old whiteboard of mine. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you guys what we're doing with that too. But let's go ahead and go on this little family walk. So we just got back, Juan is giving Jack a bath. I'm gonna jump in the shower because I'm gross and I don't wanna be baking while I'm feeling this way. So I'm gonna shower really quick and then we are gonna go ahead and make these cookies and work on my calendar. So I gotta give credit where credit's due. This recipe I got from my sister. She just searched for it online when she was like in high school and this was the recipe that came up. I have modified it just a little bit. So I use slightly less flour, just a little bit because I didn't want it to be too bready. And I use like triple the amount of chocolate chips uh, that her recipe called for because I really love to get like one or two chocolate chips in every bite. So, um, you know, it's slightly modified, but I definitely want to shout out to my sister for sharing this recipe with me. I think it actually turns out a lot better than one of the other recipes that I've tried in the past.
I have tried making these with cookie scoops before and obviously like the time, uh, the cook time has to be modified just slightly, but in my opinion, it is totally worth using the ice cream scoop and baking it for 13 minutes because it is like the perfect amount of like doughy to kind of like a crispy, like, you know, edge and I don't know, it's just like, it's the perfect size. And you really only have to have one. With smaller cookies, sometimes you're tempted to grab like two or three, which then you might as well just have one big cookie and be happy with it. So anyways, I highly recommend using an ice cream scoop or like, you know, if you are if you have a small fist, like that size of dough and make them really big and really delicious. Driven in colors, I never dream it. So I am bagging up some of the cookies here to be frozen uh, just because there's no way Juan and I are going to eat 30 cookies in the matter of like two days where it's like the freshest. And um, I have since defrosted some of these and we've enjoyed them and they defrost, you know, I don't, I actually don't know exactly how quickly they defrost, but they defrost within like an hour or two, I want to say. And they are like, just as good as out of the oven, but obviously not hot, you know, but they are delicious and they defrost really well. They freeze really well. So you can make a whole bunch of these and store them away and then not feel like you're going to waste any because they are going to be good in the freezer for a while. And honestly, they probably won't last long in the freezer because they are so delicious. So we are going to go ahead and wrap up this video by kind of cleaning up this Costco whiteboard that I've had for many years using a magic eraser because that whiteboard marker was kind of tough to get off. And I'm using like a special oil-based Sharpie to go ahead and create a calendar. And like I mentioned, this is a old Costco whiteboard. It had little dots on there, so it really made kind of making the line straight easy along with my glad whatever box uh you know i'm actually really happy with how this turned out so this marker is a special sharpie and i like rubbed my finger progressively harder on it and it didn't rub off there was nothing on my finger so my hope is that when i you know clean this whiteboard up at the end of the month only the dry erase marker will be erased and if i need to use a magic eraser I just won't scrub that hard because I did test it and the magic eraser could erase this Sharpie um, with like excessive scrubbing. And I don't know if that's just because I tried it, you know, within like a 15 minute window or if it would always work that way. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. We're going to go ahead and hang this up in our bedroom so Juan and I can be on the same page. But obviously this is a great alternative if you don't have the money to support a small business on Etsy and like order your own special calendar thing. Uh, it's a great way to use what you already have and you know make something that's really functional and reusable. But anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this Get It All Done video. I hope it provided you with some type of motivation. And please let me know if you guys plan on trying those cookies. They are delicious and I would love to hear how they work out for you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.